don't know why I say guys, but come on in, ladies. I am, um, this is, I'm sorry, My Faith, My Glam. Well, it was supposed to be My Faith, My Glam, but I think I ended up putting My Glam, My Faith, and that's not what I wanted, so I changed my page name. So, welcome to Benoit Kind of Life. Um, Benoit is our last name, and this is just our life. <laughs> um, yeah. So, to catch you guys up, I went ahead and went to the doctor like it. Like, if you watch my other vlog videos, I'm just starting out. This is my fourth vlog. Um, if you see my third vlog, you see me um, going to the doctor with my mom. Then, the couple of days after that, Clyde went to the doctor himself. I am, um, I have PCOS and I am going to a fertility specialist. Clyde is going as well because he's 34, I'm 32, and we both have our kids. So, it doesn't hurt to try to see. We've been trying for like two, almost three years. So, um, we're just, it's just better to have, you know, guidance on what you're doing. So, um, I went there, they took like 14 little, um, vials of blood for me. And, um, I got my results back, but I don't really understand what they mean. So, later I'm going to be giving, um, the nurses there a call to try to explain it to me, clear some things up. And, um, a couple of days after my appointment, Clyde went for his appointment. And he had to do, um, just a sperm analysis. But it came back not so great. But I think that was kind of my fault because I, um, spilled it a little. Well, I didn't actually spill it. I was in the, the container that they give you. I put the lid back on it, but I was trying to make sure that it was tight and it clicked past it. And so I kept trying to tighten it up, so, you know, put it back on there. So I was just like, just set it in the bag because, you know, you put it in their little bag and you seal it. And so, like, on the way there, it's like 10 minutes away from my home. I had him, like, you know, they say to, like, put it under your shirt or put it between your legs while you're driving there to keep it warm or whatever. It's supposed to stay as close to your body temperature as possible. As long as you get it there within the hour, it should be a problem. But like I said, we say like 10, maybe 15 minutes at the most away from the uh, doctor's office. So, yeah, when they came out, first when she pulled out the bag and she said it's something spilled, I felt so bad. And then so when him actually getting his results back the following day and them not being what he wanted to hear, it kind of made me feel bad like it was my fault because I didn't tighten or I tightened it too tight and broke the seal on the, on the lid. So, um, yeah, but also I received a email for me, from the doctor's office, saying that they're going to do, um, I believe, a laroscopy. I think that's the name of it. Um, on me, I will look. I will look later and put pictures in so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. But that's going to be um, next month on the 11th. So fingers crossed to unblock my tubes. Um, because like, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me back up. When I first originally started this whole infertility challenge and trying to get know-how on it I went to one doctor and she stated that oh you have PCOS you can put a book of sperm down there and it's not gonna work you may release eggs once or twice a year something like that is what she was basically saying stating to me so with going to this doctor he's like no 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 because I even gave him all the paperwork that she gave me so he was like no 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 that's not no so they did the blood work, like I said, and they're going to go, because he did the um, the vaginal ultrasound on me, and he said that my ovaries look good. Everything looks good, but he just wants to go in to see if there's maybe blockage or something. To Is that why? So there were, so that's where the laroscopy, I think it is, falls into play. They're going to put dye, well, he was explaining, putting dye through the tubes. And if they go in that way, um, if they see something, they can go ahead and take care of it instead of doing the procedure where they don't put me under. Then if they do see something, they have to schedule me for another time to actually, you know, take care of what they saw. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. I have to call and see how much the room will be because I think my insurance covered some, the majority of it. But I'm waiting on the hospital to call me so I know how much my room charge is going to be. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get to cleaning up my place because like I said, hubby's going to work and he has three days off in a row every week. 
I'm excited about it. I, I like that he's off three days every week. But um, yeah, he spikes the little Tasmanian devil that comes through and tears up your house. Yeah. So I'm going to clean up. Then I'm going to um, get dressed. And I'm going to give them a call and see how it goes. And then I probably just take you guys for a walk with me when I walk tank. Bye, you guys. Okay, guys. And on this day, this was the day before, one of his off days, sitting around here, and I couldn't take it anymore. I always cut Honey's hair, though. But I am just giving him a cut. He wanted it low. That's what he was saying to me. Oh, yeah. Please excuse that wet spot on the back of my dress. I am letting my hair air dry. I had just washed it. Normally, I flat iron it, but... Yeah, I wanted to wear the natural um, wave pattern of the hair. So there you go. And yeah, I'm going to cut, cut, cut. Fast forward. I think I do okay. What do you guys think? Okay, now skip forward, done, and look at baby. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Prolactin level is normal. Uh, rubella is immune. You're ultimately going to end up needing some vitamin D. Okay. Me on all of that, that has to be reviewed. That hasn't even been seen by Dr. Uh, Bella yet. Okay. Is, it, is Dr. Bella your doctor? Yes, ma'am. Um, a trial. I'm not trying to see what we were doing it for. Were you early in your cycle? Yes, ma'am. Actually, when I came in, I was day three. Okay, perfect. So I'm getting these all pulled up here. All right, so you had a, a, a nice sized, uh, or nice amount of antifollicles, um, which was what we tested for on your ovaries. Lining was thin, which is what we expect on day three. Um, estradiol was 43, which is which is a decent low number. FSH was six, not bad. LH was five, um, which you uh, anticipate to be lower. Um, progesterone was zero, you anticipate that to be lower. And of course the beta was negative. Also, all of your hormones were, were where they should be, um, and your follicle counts were, were a good number, so everything looked good. Okay. And on the, uh, one more question, I'm sorry. On the procedure, I know when I was in the office and um, we talked really briefly, he said a laroscopy, but I received... Um, it's a cystroscopy with tubal caps. What exactly is that? Because he was saying something like they will cut my stomach and go in and put the dye to see if my tubes were um, blocked. It's it's a very, very, very small. It's it's not actually cutting or doing an incision. Let me look at here. Yeah, he wrote a hysteroscopy. A babyloscopy would actually be an abdominal incision. And it's, that's, he's ordered a hysteroscopy. And that's the one where they just go inside, right? Yes. Not really cut? Like they're just looking up in the inside. Okay. Okay. So, and if the tubes are blocked, I will have to then schedule a laroscopy? It, d it depends. Okay. Sometimes you're able to, to kind of um, open them up. Um, it just depends. Uh, they, they do what they can, um, but it just depends on what all he finds. 
Oh, okay. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So I don't feel too bad about it. Um, she said that everything was good and everything basically came out pretty much okay. And it's not a laroscopy, it's a Hess. Whatever she said. <laughs> okay, it's whatever she said. And um, yeah, I'm going to put it on there because you guys may know more than I do about it. Well, whatever, or if you had one, let's discuss it. Because as you can see, I'm a little nervous and a little worried. Um, but she said that it won't do the, um, it won't be any incisions on my stomach. So that'll be good. Um, trying to keep my sexy. No, I'm trying to lose my stomach. Uh, but yeah, that is awesome. I'm excited about that one.